Welcome to the eMotion LV1 video tutorials. The last video was an overview of the eMotion LV1 mixer window. Now we'll get into the details. We'll start with the mixer layers. There are eight factory mixer layers. Optional custom layers can be added for specific processing needs. A factory mixer layer is made up of channels of the same type, whether input channels, buses, or controls. Selecting a layer determines what kind of channels will be viewed and controlled. Once that's done, you'll pick a mode for the processing and routing of that layer. In this tutorial, we'll learn about three of the mixer layers. Channels, groups, and aux layers. The other layers are covered in the next video. As is common with digital mixing consoles, the function of a specific channel strip changes depending on the selected layer. Any given channel strip has a different role in each layer. Choose among mixer layers with these buttons. Each layer selector button has meters with peak indicators for all of its channels or buses. The number of layers varies according to the mixer configuration, which is set in the Mixer Settings page. Larger channel configurations also have more buses. If a layer selector button is blank, then that layer is unavailable. In certain configurations, a layer may not be full. Channel layers are the mixer's input channels. They can patch to any I.O. device that's been assigned to the mixer in the System Inventory page. Patch channels to I.O.s using these drop-down menus. I.O. preamps can be controlled from here. This is discussed more in the lesson about the mixer input layer mode. Channel layers can control I.O. preamps. Channels can be mono or stereo. This doesn't affect the total number of mixer channels. Use the drop-down menu at the top of the channel strip to flip between mono and stereo. Channels can be routed to groups, matrix, main and direct outs, and sent to aux effects and aux monitor channels. The four channel layers share the same view and functionality. Only the channels are different. Channels can be submixed to stereo groups. This submix is controlled in the group layer, where it is further processed, faded, panned, and the like, and then routed directly to IOs, or to the master bus, or sent to aux channels. The group layer behaves just like the channel layers, except there are no inputs. Groups are assigned in the route mode of the channel layer. All group buses are stereo. Channels and groups can be sent to any of the 16 auxiliaries. The eight aux monitor buses are typically used for monitor feeds. Audio is processed on the aux bus and then routed directly to the main outs, matrix, or to IOs. You don't need to return aux buses to a mixer input. Each aux monitor bus can have up to eight plugins, so effects such as reverb or delay can be added. An aux effects behaves in the same manner. Channels and groups are sent to it, audio is processed, and then routed to the main outs, matrix, or directly to IOs. The difference is that any aux effects channel can be sent to an aux monitor channel. This means that processing performed on one aux effects channel can be used on several monitor auxes. You can, of course, use aux effects buses for monitor outputs, just like aux monitors. And you can route an aux monitor to a main mix output rather than to a monitor I.O. Aux buses can be stereo or mono. Click on the channel input section at the top of the channel strip to flip between the two. Aux channels are discussed in detail in lesson 3.6. No matter which layer is visible, 
the selected channel will appear in the name box on the top bar. Taking a look at this display will let you know just what channel you're controlling. In this video, you've seen that choosing a mixer layer determines what kind of channels or buses you want to work on. And we've looked at the channels, groups, and aux layers. In the next video, we'll look at the other mixer layers, masters, link DCA, and all. Thanks for watching this eMotion LV1 video tutorial. See you next time.